We're, we're heading into a four day break but foreign exchange markets keep trading and there is a bit of potential uh, for the New Zealand dollar to, uh, to chop round in those circumstances but it's actually been reasonably steady over the last 24 hours. Yesterday we had National Bank's uh, monthly business outlook survey and expectations have pulled back a little bit, businesses are a little bit more pessimistic um, but the indicators are that the uh, economic recovery is certainly on, on track but that survey uh, failed to move the market too much yesterday little change in uh, interest rates or uh, the New Zealand dollar. The big catalysts there are probably going to come next month. Of course we've got the Reserve Bank meeting at the end of April but we've also got key inflation data out in the, in the middle of the month. But for now we're heading into the, uh, the four day weekend and there's a whole heap of offshore data that could uh, chop things around quite a bit. The big statistic out this week is uh, non-farm payrolls in the, in the states. This is the key labour market data and it is a data release that can really move uh, the US dollar and in turn the, the New Zealand dollar. Now we get a little bit of a stare on the, uh, the US labour market with a uh, payrolls report from a company called ADP and that was actually surprisingly weak when it was released last night. It has made the market a little bit cautious uh, that we're going to get a weak uh, US non-farm payrolls report this Friday and what we saw in the wake of that is uh, share markets were a little bit weak overnight, the US dollar got chopped around a bit. Now we're going to have to just wait and see uh, what that payrolls comes out at. The New Zealand dollar is around 71 cents against the US dollar, but it, it could chop in a wider range due to the, uh, the quiet nature of, uh, of trading over this, uh, this period. We've also got other uh, manufacturing uh, releases coming out uh, around the world. Uh, and, and other key economic data, but they're all going to pale compared to that non-farm payrolls report on Friday. On the New Zealand front, uh, next week we've got a couple of key releases. 